it looked like it was going to be a pretty comfortable afternoon for you, but then Matt battled back in that match. No, he's a good player. Um, he's had some good results over the last couple of years. I think he's won a PTC. He's a solid, solid, good all-round player, and uh, he made it hard for me today. And you know, I felt quite lucky to get the result, to be honest with you. As you say, it's a, a tough first round draw to get, Matt. Um, but does, do you think that helps you kind of sink your teeth into an event? Well, not really. I'd rather have had a, a, you know, a couple of nice ones where I'd have got going and just felt got a feel for the table because you know I could have gone home now, you know. And uh, but you know there is no easy matches. Well, there are, there are, but um, he's certainly not one of them. So um, you know, I'm just pleased we got through, and um, hopefully the next guy don't play as well against me. I saw on Twitter the other day you were saying you're quite enjoying being here in Glasgow. How good is it to have a big snooker tournament back in Scotland? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. You know, they've um, you know they've they've ruled the rules with the best players in the world over the last twenty odd years. You know, Hendry, Higgins, McManus, Maguire, Dot, um, awesome uh, players. So you know, he's um, you know it's great that they have the tournament here. And just looking back at the UK Championship final, obviously not the result you wanted, but and third ranking final of the year and another fantastic match with Selby how, how do you you must feel you're on the cusp of having a really good season oh uh, yeah it's been alright so far you know three finals is not bad but you know I'd like to have had at least one of them into a win but to be fair the first two finals I probably wasn't playing well enough to to believe I was going to win um, but the last since Belfast I've started to queue a little bit better found my game a bit so um I'm a bit more optimistic, but um, you know I don't think there's no guarantees now. You know everyone's so good. Um, you just have to you know um, keep keep playing. But you know it'd really help if I could get a win. I think because I think it just give you that little bit more belief. And do you think if you, if you could get a win this week, it's uh, the Masters after Christmas, an event that you're looking to defend. You must feel that would kind of give you a bit of momentum going into it. Oh, absolutely. You know, winning's a habit, and losing's a habit. And at the moment, I'm in the a habit of losing. You know, so. Um, yeah, you know, I've won matches and got to finals, but you know, you, uh, it's, it's, it gives you a different, deeper feeling when you can uh, pick a bit of silverware up. And you must be looking forward to the Masters at Alexandra Palace. Always a good atmosphere for you there. Uh, it's a good tournament if you go all the way, um, but it can be a bit of a distraction as well. You know, obviously, any tournament that's local to you, you get a few um, people that won't uh, come and watch you. But um, I'll have someone obviously sorting the tickets out. But sometimes it's nice. I prefer getting away from home. Um, but, you know, it's a great tournament for me, the Masters, and I've got a great record there, and, you know, yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. Best of luck for the rest of the week, Ronnie. Thank you very much.